Maybe he's gonna have a couple of more chests because currently he has like what six, eight chests. So I mean, uh, pretty good. And top of here, he's gonna have three extra. So eleven chests, baby. Pretty epic. Yo, guys, it is me. Happy Cyber again. Welcome back to Last Standard Survival. So today, we're gonna go to the farm. We're gonna do some other stuff. We're gonna do the raid and blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. But first of all, I just wanna show you this ATV for those who still haven't seen it yet. So I only require one more gas cylinder. So most likely by the time you are watching this video, I am already in the swamp location and I'm already riding this ATV. Because the only thing that's left for me, I already count that I already have this ATV because I just have to wait like 20 or something hours, maybe even 18 hours until my swamp location is going to reset. Not the swamp location, but my bunker Bravo is going to reset. And after that, we're going to go there and quickly we'll do second, third and fourth floor. We're going to get that gas cylinder and boom, we're going to go to the swamp location. So all I want to say is just smash that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss the future video because that video is going to come out tomorrow. So I'm very excited for that. And just because of this reason, I decided that let's go outside now. Let's go to the farm because most likely after that 18 TV unlocking, I don't think I'll be grinding a lot of farm. I'm already not doing farm that frequently because, I mean, it's a pretty cool location, definitely. I think it's pretty good for, like, mid players, but after that, it becomes, like, kind of boring, kind of obsolete. But the fun part is that we're gonna unlock, guys, this entire location really, really soon. I'm super excited. Like, literally in 24 hours or something or even less, I'm gonna be there already. So just as I said, by that time when you're watching the video, I will most likely be already ready in that swamp whatever so let's try to loot here the car baby boom and you might be asking me Syrek, why are you here with your hazmat suit and my answer would be why not so let's try to do here the swamp and again i do have enough glocks and i have enough shotguns i don't really bother here using my katanas because i do not want to break this hazmat suit that quickly but at the same time i want to use it over here just to spice some things up because it's gonna be a little bit less boring if we're gonna use our hazmat suit inside of the swamp location and again all i need to do is just one more extra bunker bravo run and i will be done with that bunker bravo i don't think i'll ever have to go there and truth to be told this whatever wait 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 don't 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 be straight it's definitely has pretty bad protection but all i just wanted to say is that this hazmat suit isn't really that epic because when you just go to the crafting menu and the price to craft this hazmat suit is just ridiculous like it requires 10 lead plates uh, 12 rubber just to craft this jacket and all of the other pieces of armor here uh, of this hazmat armor they cost incredibly a lot like okay we just found a box just like that and the usage of this hazmat armor is pretty bad inside of the bunker alpha because again it's just gonna break it's not like you can do some sort of wall trick it's not like bunker bravo becomes infinite if you have your hazmat armor nothing becomes infinite bunker bravo is still the same hard on that red radiation you're gonna still get a lot of and a lot of poison damage a lot of that radiation damage so it hasn't been stood inside of the bunker bravo at least for me i still haven't found a good usage of it it's still garbage wish it was a bit different though because because I thought that, you know what, maybe if you're gonna somehow, some way craft this hazmat armor, you'll be able to do, like, Bunker Bravo a bit more slowly. You'll be able to use your Glocks, but there's no way you'll be able to use Glocks inside of that Bunker Bravo with your hazmat armor, because they're just gonna strip your hazmat armor away, and if you're gonna be too slow, you're still gonna get that poison damage, I mean, radiation damage, so regardless, that hazmat armor is pretty doo-doo, so that's why we are using it over here. And it's not like you'll be able to craft it unless you unlock that swamp location. Maybe there's another guess that maybe in the swamp location we will require this hazmat armor or maybe in the future updates hazmat armor is going to be a bit more useful there are going to be like special locations where we'll, we'll be able to use it but i mean so far it's like the only the most radioactive place that there is in last on earth is going to be that bunker bravo and the hazmat armor is completely obsolete there so i don't understand what's the point of such an armor there but regardless let's try to deal now with my a uh, revenger okay so what i'll try to do most likely is deal with them with my katanas right okay so i'm gonna use like this uh, half broken glock come here revenger where are you where are you is that revenger okay so revenger is gonna be coming back and most likely i'll be fighting him around this circle so you can already start placing bets if i'm gonna die from this revenger here when he will spit on me or he's never gonna spit on me we'll see okay so revenger revenger just like that little bit of damage so what i'll try to do right now is just attack him once and just uh run around the circle okay so two hits here just like that 
just like that, baby. Okay, gotta do my best to not die from him. Again, I didn't fight Revenger now for quite some time, and I love farm. I think that farm is way less boring than Bunker Alpha. I would love to do farm, like, every three days. Just the point is, loot here is pretty bad. You don't get here any guns, because last day on Earth, as I said already in the past, it's divided in uh, such places. Like, let's say you're getting guns only from Bunker Alpha, and the rest of the places here in the game aren't really gonna give you a lot of guns. So that's why, most likely, Bunker Alpha, the this day is one of the best places to do and uh, and I don't really know if developers can do anything else about it because most likely they're just trying to care about the balance of the game but I think that right now game isn't really that much balanced because in the past when there was that bunker alpha, people could gather enough guns, but at the same time, still the majority of players didn't have a lot of weapons. They still didn't know how to get them. So it's not like guns were super common or whatever, but right now they added so many other new locations like that junkyard, that bunker bravo farm, and a lot of all the new things that they've added here to the game as well. The new events that we are getting, it's like we aren't getting enough guns back in return. So guns here are basically, let's say like fuel, and we don't really get them back in return as often. And the only place to get them is again, just by doing that bunker alpha. And uh, I don't know, I said that a lot in previous videos and I don't really know what developers can do about it besides adding some more places where you could get more guns. But at the same time, maybe the game is gonna be unbalanced or whatever. But with that bunker Bravo, I don't know. Whatever, let's deal now with one more Savage Giant baby. And this is, it's not like the goodbye to the farm location, but I definitely don't think that we're gonna be coming here anytime soon, unless like literally, yeah, probably for the raids, totally. I forgot <laughs> that the only reason why I'm doing this farm is just so that I can raid. Okay, so we're gonna place the box pretty close here. I do not wanna cut it yet. So wait, 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 let's go over here, baby, boom. Uh, gonna come inside. First of all, we're gonna deal with this rotten yokel. Gonna open that door up. There's going to be a puppy. Obviously have to pick it up because if I don't pick up the puppy, people in the comments are gonna just eat me alive. Like, sorry, how could you not pick up the puppy? It's like, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna come back to home and I'm gonna just delete him there. <laughs> I mean, no, guys, I'm not gonna delete him at all. I promise he's gonna stay. I'm gonna let him out and he's gonna be very happy in his place with other doggos. I promise that Let's deal with this savage giant here, baby. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Here we go. He's totally sleeping again outside. Nobody just attacked me. Let's come back inside and bloop. Oh, and also what I totally forgot about that is that season four is coming to the game pretty soon. I'm still not sure when, but like I assume in a week or like in two weeks, we should be able to get it like around Christmas. I would place my bets. So literally like about a week left until we're gonna get our uh, season four. And uh, again, we're gonna have even more stuff to do in Last Dawn Earth Survival because right now I'm just waiting until I'll be able to get that one gas cylinder. Imagine if I only was able to place in the top 5%, I would be able to get that gas cylinder. And there were so many other ways on how could you get inside of that top 5%. From what I know, if let's say you you lacked like those 7,000 or like 6,000 ports or something, if you did not receive your rewards, if you didn't click to receive your rewards, you could have just done one wave of zombies and then received your rewards and then you would have gotten 10, 5% rewards. Uh, but I'm not sure if that even works. At least that's the rumors that I've heard. So I can't really confirm that. So there were a lot of ways on how I could have been in that top 5%. If I just knew if I would like whatever, but we are not. And regardless, we're gonna get inside of that swamp location like literally tomorrow. So let's try to deal with those guys. I don't want them to destroy my hazmat armor, but at the same time, my tactical armor is a bit more useful than that hazmat armor. So I don't know much what to say about it. Okay, so wait, are there only like two savage giants and that's it? That's the entire place? What? Really? Okay, let's deal with another... Okay, there's a third savage giant up the top. You don't really have to kill them. Like, I've already made a couple of videos of explaining on how you should do the farm here efficiently. But apparently, this was seriously pretty easy farm. What's up with that? Why there are only three savage giants? Like, I didn't kill many of them. Oh, no, more dudes are coming in. Oh, no, these raiders only. Okay, so we got to deal with that. Another with the zip gun and an M16. Awesome. Imagine having a mate. Guys, if you ever... If there is ever an apocalyptic scenario, right? If your friend gives you a zip gun and he has has an M16 or something, I think is the time for you to find better friends. <laughs> like, don't go with those who have zip guns. Okay, now let's open this chest up and inside here, we're gonna get 10 caps. Pretty epic, but thanks God, I don't need any more caps. I still have flashbacks from those previous uh, Please, I beg you at this point. Bottle fl cap flipping videos and I'm just so done with that bottle 
cap flipping thing. We're gonna bring this valuable survivor's diary with me because probably developers are gonna add more levels because there were 200 levels, now we are at level 209, so maybe in the future developers are gonna add more levels, so it would be pretty cool to have those uh, valuable survivor notes and just read them when new update comes out and boom, will be a new level, so I'm definitely gonna keep those. Should I take the skull crushers? I think I have enough of them at the base, but still, let's take another one. And well, let's take some other garbage and one more hammer, so okay, this blueprint is already learned, nothing inside of that far, and apparently that's pretty much it. We are kind of ready to go for the raid. Okay, except that this raider is still walking, so we're gonna deal now with these raiders. So six raiders, my hazmat armor here spawned six raiders. Epic, okay, so let's try to loot this sack. Maybe here I'll get like thousand mil cores. Now inside we're just gonna get seven mushrooms and seven charcoal, come to papa. So now just as I said, we're gonna go for the raid. I've done a little bit of research on this base just as usual. And you already know how it goes. I have no idea what kind of things we're gonna get inside of the base. The only thing I know is that I don't have to use here any C4s and well, I'm gonna happy about it. So first of all, I'm gonna hop inside of this base from this door. So didn't even know that he's gonna have here wooden uh, door case. So let's chop that down, baby, boom. And I'm not sure if I can even enter this base from over here, but hey, we're gonna see. Maybe he's gonna have a couple of more chests because currently he has like, what, six, eight chests. So, I mean, uh, pretty good. And top of here, he's gonna have three extra. So, 11 chests, baby. Pretty epic, pretty epic. Gonna chop down here one more wall. Very happy that this is a level one wall. We're gonna destroy this. And also, okay, so this guy just has his ATV. Can I check what he has inside? <laughs> He's nothing compared to me. Very excited about ATV. Seriously, every time when I log in now in the game and I see that I only require one gas cylinder, it just hurts my heart. But regardless, let's start opening up here a couple of chests. I'll definitely open this one up. And the only reason why I have here this hazmat armor is because why not? I think this entire video is just gonna be me wearing a hazmat armor. So hey, pretty epic. Let's take these items, baby boom, a wave of zombies. Well, zombies are sleeping and so far raid is pretty okay because I've gotten some food and I'm never gonna say no to food during raids because right now during raids, you don't really get a lot of guns and there isn't many things that you can get here. So getting food is definitely epic. Okay, let's take these uh, items, baby. Boom. And the point is, I do know that after you'll go to the swamp location, you'll need to have one more gas cylinder in order to power your chemistry station. And thankfully, I'll be able to get that one more gas cylinder from the fourth floor tomorrow because I'll be able to get one gas cylinder from that opening locks thingy and I'll be able to get another gas cylinder from that fourth floor itself. So, hey, that's pretty awesome. Like, I mean, from that fourth floor crate. Let's open up now another chest. I believe that after this one, a wave of zombies is going to spawn. So here we can get a little bit of leather, but I believe... No, 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 already here? What? Okay, so zombies zom are sleeping once again. Let's destroy here these last chests inside of this one. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of gasoline and never gonna say no to that. So let's go back to my choppa. Let's fill it up with some garbage. And I mean, so far, Last on Earth is pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely hard to obtain your ATV. But as I said, I think it's pretty... It's more chill and it's not as stressful to get that ATV if you're not rushing to get it. Because I highly suggest for everybody to wait until Season 4 and see what kind of rewards we are gonna get. Because I believe that... Uh, Okay, we cannot see the previous reward of the season three, but inside of, inside of the season three, we were able to get some ATV parts, like those gas cylinders and ATV transmissions. So I believe that right now, uh, the most uh, cost efficient way, way uh, on how you can assemble your ATV is just going to be by waiting until season four and season five and obtaining, like, let's say, those ATV transmissions from those passes, if they are even going to include those ATV transmissions. But I would bet that they would include them because why not? So I think that would be the most cost efficient way. And after that, obviously, Obviously, they're still gonna make ATV a little bit more common because same thing happened with Chopper. Chopper was really hard to obtain, but after that, they just made it like pretty common. You can assemble that Chopper in like a couple of weeks after you start playing the game. So let's do the snap transition. Well, Zamzams are sleeping here once again. So I think we're gonna do like two hits now to all of these chests because the big one most likely is going to spawn. And I still don't wanna lose my armor because we still have 50% durability of my hazmat armor. Still don't understand why I'm wearing this. Don't think that, oh my God, you're just a dumb dumb. I, I know it exactly. I know it's probably better than everybody else but i mean the hazmat looks pretty epic so why not wear it so let's open that up inside just nothing inside just nothing oh so maybe even the big one isn't going to spawn yet uh so should i take some more transistors yeah we're gonna take the transistors more usbs probably gonna take these light bulbs again if you're doing some raids and if you're not picking up any light bulbs i would kind of suggest you 
start picking them up because if this Christmas there is going to be a Christmas tree, you might need those light bulbs. And I don't think a lot of people are going to have a lot of light bulbs. I do know that some people just love having them. But as I said already a couple of times in the past, but for those who didn't hear that, when there was like last Christmas, I'm going to open this chest up. Don't worry. I just want to finish my sentence that last Christmas when there was a Christmas tree, I didn't have enough light bulbs. And I think I was like basically the only person who could not assemble my Christmas tree. Okay, so the big one still didn't even spawn. Awesome. So I'm going to just take one red ticket. You know what? And let's take these garbages as well. Going to take some orange paint. And the more space I have, the more I'll take. Except that I got nothing. Let's take this baby. Let's take some green paint. Would like to take two extra things, but I'll definitely not have space for that. So whatever. I took the more rare paints that I kind of probably lack. So yeah, this Christmas, if there is going to be that Christmas tree, I hope that I will be able to assemble that Christmas tree because hopefully I'll have enough of those light bulbs now because I probably maybe have like kind of a stack of those light bulbs at the base. So my backpack is completely full and probably my chopper is full as well. So this base gets IRX approval because you will rarely get a full inventory of stuff in raids. Even though I didn't get there a lot of cool stuff, but I'm happy to have a full backpack. And now we're here at the Fort Pass and I would like to tell you something cool about it is because you still can come here. If you like did 30 levels or something, you can still come and get some rewards from her. And usually you get only like a stone pickaxe, like iron pickaxe or some other garbage, but I actually gotten like seven or nine bandages. So I believe that it's pretty worthwhile to come here and get your rewards daily while still Fort Mas is here. I do believe that you can start doing waves again, but that's totally pointless. Doesn't matter. And as you can see, I almost disassembled my entire Fort Mas. Like there's still only a couple of walls left. I do know that you can just remove the entire floor and you're still going to get your resources. So that's what just what I'm doing. Just trying to remove all of the floors here. We're getting a bunch of and bunch of bricks back because if ever Fort Mass is going to return, I'll be able to go and do it once again. I'll be able to go and craft a bunch of floors. I'll be able to progress at least a little bit further when I will need those points. But at the same time, I removed my entire base and I lost like what, only 15,000 points, which is not really that much at all. And again, the thing about Fort Mass is that a lot of people loved it in the beginning, like myself included. It was so awesome. I really didn't think that these points are going to jump up so high so quickly. And it wasn't really that hard to get like those 180,000 points, like 200,000 points points, it was totally possible to get it. Like only if you would know that they are going to raise so quickly in the last day. And still some people say that, hey, people just started grinding more at the very end. But it's not the case there because you cannot get like really 20,000 points three days in a row. There was definitely something else with that. So here we go. I took all of the items here besides like these level one floors and walls, which I'll be able to get like maybe a stack of wood from that, which I'd probably save more time just by taking a pickaxe. I mean, a hatchet and going and chopping down some wood outside. So I do know that that you can just repair these dumpsters and they're just gonna disappear from how I understand that. I'm not totally sure, but I've repaired a couple of stuff here already. Like there was like that huge blob here in the corner and I thought that I'll repair it, but I repaired it and it just disappeared. So most likely you can just repair those things by disassembling them. So that's not what I thought Fort Mass is. In the beginning, I thought that inside of the Fort Mass, you know, I'll be able to, let's say, uh, assemble this substation and something else is going to happen. That was my expectation. I really thought that we'll be able to assemble more stuff and they're gonna work as a bonus But most likely we just have to kind of repair those things and they're just gonna disappear And wait, I just realized isn't it the same toilet that we can craft in the swamp location? Wait, 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 wait I just want to see this and look at that outdoor toilet. It probably is the same thing So yeah, this is how it's gonna look in our base So I'm probably the first thing what I'll do when I'll get to the swamp location. We're gonna craft the toilet <laughs> Why not? And I think I just want to say a proper goodbye to Fort Mas because it seriously was one of the biggest updates, even though it wasn't pleasant at the very end. But a lot of people were happy in the beginning. I think some people, some newcomers were able to grind it in the beginning. I don't think it was done perfectly. I definitely don't think that they shouldn't have done like top 5%, top 10%. I think they just should have added like fixed points and that's it. I think way more players would enjoy it better rather than just trying to compete with some garbage here, which is like, yeah. But again, these are just my thoughts and that's what I think about Fort Mass. So I highly suggest you checking out this video on the most unique game I've seen or click on the second card and you'll see how I won two ATV transmissions or hop over to my channel, go to play this and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.